What's up everyone? Today I'm going to show you how to make a simple, delicious, affordable bean and cheese burrito. Now, all you're going to need is are these are the following items. Check it out. Some refried beans, pan opener, tortillas, and your favorite type of cheese. Also, you'll need a can of, uh, a thing of hot sauce, a plate and a spoon if you want, some salt, maybe a little chipotle, you know, spice things up a bit. Mmm, spicy. Alright, so you might be asking why? Why make a video on how to make a bean and cheese burrito? It's so simple. Well, you know, the only answer is because I'm hungry and I like making how-to videos sometimes when I'm hungry and bean and cheese burrito is uh, really good food when you're hungry and you'd like an affordable meal that fills you up right and, uh, you know, it's good stuff. So, uh, so check it out. We're about to make four bean and cheese burritos because I'm hungry and it's super easy to do and filling. Oh, by the way, you're also going to need one of these bad boys. That's right. Microwave right there. All right, so uh, here we go. So to start, take my trusty bag of tortillas. Place a tortilla on the plate like so. Take that can of refried beans with your spoon. Put a nice dollop of beans on there. Yeah. Just spread it around. So good. So yummy. So affordable. Alright. Now what I like to do is sprinkle some salt on there before I put anything else so that uh, you know it, it sticks nicely to the refried beans, the salt then go ahead add your chipotle powder oh yeah chipotle and put your hot sauce on there after that a few shakes will do it now for the fun part Take your cheese, sprinkle it on as much as you want. Get that shit nice and melty when it goes in the microwave. Alright, next step is to put it in the microwave. But first, I'm going to roll it up, contain some of that heat. Now, all you have to do is repeat these steps as many times as you want to get the correct number of burritos. So, I'm gonna make three more. Alright, now that I got my four burritos, I'm gonna place them in the microwave. Now, you could also chop up some onions, peppers, whatever, some veggies in there if you want. I'm just gonna make some plain ones here. Alright, so, let's put that in for two minutes and get ready to enjoy. All right, the burritos are done. The plate's gonna be pretty hot, but that's good. That's a good sign. All right, so uh, now the burritos are finished, and all you gotta do is uh, sit down in front of your favorite Netflix program or whatever, favorite game, and uh, just sit back and enjoy the burrito. It's really good. Mmm. That is money right there. Come on. Perfect. Look at that. Nice layering. Nice balance to it. Still pretty hot, but uh, it's good stuff. So, um, 
Let me know what you think, how your burritos turned out. They were really yummy or not, like these are. Thanks for watching.